Okay, so today we're going to be working on uh, pretty much the same thing as uh, yesterday, but we're going to add fractions into this. So we're adding and subtracting polynomials with fractions. All right, so I would like you to do the try this. The try this is to perform the indicated operation expressed in simplest form. So it is a review from yesterday, adding polynomials. Uh, this is a combination of subtracting and adding. So put the video on pause, do both problems, then come back and check your answers. Okay, so uh, so for the first one here, we're adding. So I'm just going to rewrite this problem, this expression, and uh, get rid of the parentheses. So I have here 8x to the third minus 4xy minus 3y squared plus 5x to the third minus 2xy plus 6y squared. All right, so let's uh, look for our like terms. I have, that's a funky 8 there, uh, 8x to the third. I'm looking for another x to the third. I see one right here. That's positive 5x to the third. So I have positive 8 plus 5. That is 13. So that's 13x to the third. Next, I have a uh, xy here, so negative 4xy. I'm looking for another xy. I see the negative 2xy. So negative 4 minus 2. Remember, the signs in front go with it. Negative 4 minus 2 is negative 6. So it's negative 6xy. If you're having a hard time with the signs, use your calculators. And then we have a y squared here. So I have a negative 3y squared and a positive 6y squared. So that would be negative 3 plus 6 is positive 3. So it's positive 3y squared. All right, so let's take a look at number 2. I'm just going to get rid of this here so I have more room. Okay, so we have number 2 here. Sorry. Okay, get myself some more room here. All right, so I see here I have a combination of um, a minus here, so I have to make sure I distribute that negative. And I have a plus, so that's I'm just going to rewrite that last parenthesis. So I'm rewriting the first parenthesis because when I distribute, remember there's really a 1 here. So when I distribute the 1, everything's going to stay the same. So it's going to be 16a squared plus 3a squared b minus 2b. Now I distribute, there's really a negative 1 here, so it's going to be negative 5b. Negative times a negative is a positive 2ab squared. Distribute the negative to a positive is a negative 11a squared. And there's really a positive 1 here, and when I distribute the positive 1, it's going to keep this the same. So that would be 4a squared minus a squared b. Okay, and remember, in front of this a squared b, there's really a 1 there. All right, so let's look for our like terms. I have 16a squared, so I'm looking for another a squared. So there is an a squared here, but there has a b attached to it, so I can't use that. Uh, 2b, 5b, a b squared, not helping. Oh, a negative 11 a squared here. So let's box that off. Negative 11 a squared. And then I see right next to it, I have positive 4 a squared. And then my last term here uh, is a squared, but also has a b. So I can't use that one. So we have here 16 minus 11 is 5 plus 4. You could plug that into the calculator if you want. You could just plug in 16 minus 11 plus 4, right? That gives me 9. So that's 9a squared. All right, so let's look at the next. We have a squared b, positive 3a. So I'm looking for another a squared b. So not here, here, no. This, no, because this is just regular a and this is b squared. But down here, I have a negative 1, a squared b. Remember, there's a 1 in front of that if you didn't put it. All right, so we have here 3 minus 1 is 2. So that would be 2 plus 2, a squared b. 
Okay, next I have uh, a, just a B. So I have negative 2B. I have a negative 5B. I'm looking for just another B. I don't see anything else. So we have here negative 2 minus 5 is negative 7. So it's minus 7B. And then I notice here that I have this guy, but there's no other terms left to combine it with, so I'm just going to tack it on to the end here. So that would be your final answer. All right, so let's talk about how to plug um, the fractions into the calculator. So it's very easy. Um, I don't want you using the division symbol, which is uh, above the times. Don't use that as division. It is the same thing, right? So if you have two-thirds, two-thirds is the same thing as two divided by three, but I don't want you to use that button. I want There is actually a uh, uh, a fraction button on the calculator that I want you to use because when you use this and you hit enter after you do the operation it will actually give you the answer in fraction form okay so where do we find this on the calculator so make sure your calculators are in front of you you're gonna press the alpha key alpha is right below the blue button so it's the green button okay so the alpha let me write that down right next to this that's the green button so that's the green button Okay, and then you press Y equals. Y equals is the top left uh, button on the calculator in the white in the white area. Okay, and then after you press that, you look at number one. Number one says, number one has this, N slash uh, D, I think. Um, let me just check on the calculator. Yeah, N slash D. So you want that button. So hit enter. So you want number one. Or you either hit enter or just press number one. Okay, now you're going to plug in the numerator. It's blinking, right? So on the calculator, it gives you this box, box. And right now, it's blinking here, right? So type in the numerator there. Press the down button, the arrow down. And then type in the numerator, the denominator into the bottom. And then press the side arrow. Press the side arrow. And that'll take you out of that fraction. Okay, so let's try uh, the first one. We're using the calculator here with these fractions. Fractions are our friends. You're going to see a lot of fractions now, right, because we have to take this to the next level, more Algebra 2 stuff. Okay, so we have here, I am adding polynomial plus polynomial. I see there's a whole lot of fractions, but we're not going to get nervous about that because we're going to let the calculator do the work. So since I'm adding, I'm just going to rewrite this. All right, so I have two-thirds x squared plus 3 fifths x minus 8 plus 5 thirds x squared plus 4x minus 1 half. All right, so let's find our like terms. I have 2 thirds x squared and a positive 5 thirds x squared. So I know it's going to be an x squared. So now let's use the calculator. So press alpha y equals number 1. Type in 2 thirds. Okay, remember to push the arrow over. Now we're going to type in plus because we're adding. Now do the fraction key again. And now type in 5 thirds. Push the arrow over and hit enter. And it will give you the answer as a fraction. So it's 7 thirds. All right, so let's write that down right in front of the x squared. So it's 7 thirds x squared. All right, so let's see what's next. We have positive two, uh, 3 fifths x plus four. All right, so hit the fraction, alpha y equals number one. Type in three fifths, three over five, plus, because we're adding here, and it's just a four, so just press plus four. Hit enter. It gives you your answer as a fraction, which is what we want, so it's positive 23 over five x. And then the last will be negative eight minus one half. So type in negative 8. Remember, when you type in a negative number, don't hit the minus. Make sure you use the negative button, which is right below the 3. And then the minus key. Don't use the negative key. Minus, and then alpha y equals. Type in 1 over 2. Hit enter, and you get negative 17 halves. So it's minus 17 over 2. Okay, so let's try the last problem.
Okay, so I noticed in the last problem I have uh, three things going on here. I have a minus, I have a mi and two minuses. So I have to distribute. So remember, we're distributing those ones. So there's really a one here, negative one here, and the negative one here we're distributing. Okay, so when I distribute this positive one here, it's going to keep everything the same. So it would be 2x to the third minus 4 thirds xy minus 5 halves y squared. Now when I distribute this negative 1, it's going to change all the signs. So it's going to be minus 6y squared minus 3 fourths xy plus 6 fifths x to the third. And same thing here, when I distribute this negative 1, it'll change the sign, so it'll be positive x to the third, and that then it'll be minus 1 tenth y squared. Remember, there is that 1 there, okay, in front of the x to the third. All right, so let's, let's look for our like terms. I he, see here at the beginning I have um, a 2x to the third. I'm looking for another x to the third, so that's right here. So it's positive 6 over 5x to the third, and here, 1x to the third. So when we combine them, we'll use the calculator. So we're typing in the 2 first. So 2 plus, now use the fraction key, and type in 6 fifths. So 6 over 5. Use the arrow out so that we could type in then the plus 1. And then I get 21 over 5x to the third. Okay, let's look at the next. So we have here xy's, negative 4 thirds xy. I'm looking for another xy. I see one right here. Negative 3 fourths xy. And that's it. So let's type in. Uh, we have negative. Make sure you use the negative button. Don't use the minus button for a negative. So it's negative, which is right below the 3. Negative fraction. So negative and then alpha y equals number 1. 4 thirds, so you should see that negative on the outside of the fraction. Then we have, this is now going to be a minus, so make sure you hit the minus button. Okay, that's above the plus button. Then alpha y equals fraction 3 over 4, and hit enter, and I have negative 25 over 12. So it'll be negative 25 over 12 xy. All right, and then let's see what's next. So we have here all the y squared. So negative 5 halves y squared, negative 6 y squared, and negative 10, 1 over 10 of y squared. So we're going to type in negative first. So negative alpha y equals fraction button 5 over 2, arrow to the right, my, just minus 6. And then we have minus alpha y equals number 1. 1 over 10, enter. And I have negative 43 over 5. So it's negative 43 over 5 y squared. Okay, so that's it, and we'll practice some more uh, tomorrow. Everybody have a good day, uh, have a good night, and I'll see you guys soon.